Happy Mank and his sons. <laughs> I was like, okay, mashallah. How are you actually related, Mufti? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our common great grandfather is Adam alayhi salam. And that's the same with all of us. So everyone here is related through Adam and Eve. MashaAllah. Nonetheless, on a more serious note, how do you think we're related? Uh, do you see similar features or? You do? Definitely. Alhamdulillah. The no. voices as well. Yeah, guys? MashaAllah. MashaAllah. So if they said sons, they would technically not be wrong, but they wouldn't be absolutely accurate. So we are six brothers. We are six brothers and three sisters, alhamdulillah. And these are the children of my brothers. Masha. So what that means is my eldest brother, Saeed, that's his son, Sheikh Ibrahim. My, another elder brother of mine, that's his son, Sheikh Adnan. And they're therefore my nephews, not my sons. Yeah? But uh, if they say sons, culturally, it wouldn't be wrong. Culturally, they say, you know, an uncle is as good as a father. So, mashallah, it's there. We don't look too far in age, but we are quite far in age. <laughs> if I could tell you that Sheikh Adnan is actually my son-in-law at the same time, been married to my daughter perhaps for the last six, seven years, alhamdulillah, mashallah. So that's how it works. So we do have more than one relationship, alhamdulillah. Mashallah, mashallah. The fun uncle, the fun uncle, Mufti. Eh? <laughs> I think, I think what happened is the other brothers are a little bit older and I've always tried to be the one who's... Uh, a bit more fun loving, you know, nice, mashallah. mashallah. Funkel, funkel, the fun uncle. Alhamdulillah, Allahumma barik. Sheikh Ibrahim, a question for yourself. So what made you follow the path of studying Islam? Bismillah rahman rahim um, Just to add, Sheikh, you know, you mentioned uh, we don't look so much further, uh, far, far apart in age. And uh, someone once told me, I said, Oh, he's my uncle. So they said, oh, you are his uncle. <laughs> and I, I said, come on, man, come on. You know, that's strange because I have my son as well. And uh, when, I, when, I, when I'm with him, he looks very similar. So someone said once that, uh, is that your brother? I said, no, it's not my brother. So he looked at me and he said, that's crazy. They actually think I'm your brother. But then when we went somewhere else, someone said, is that your father? And I'm like, what? My father, my son, man. You know? <laughs> so the people sometimes don't really understand. You're right, mashallah. Barakallah feek. Alhamdulillah. So alhamdulillah, with regards to the question, I've been studying Islam with my granddad from a very young age. In fact, my Alif and Ba was taught by him. And I attribute my beginnings to him. Uh, so essentially, we were born into a family that studied Islam. Alhamdulillah, and that's I attribute after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to my grandfather. So that, alhamdulillah, was a huge driver for me to study Islam. It was what I knew. It was what I was familiar with because he taught us the Quran. He taught us the tafsir of the Quran. He taught us, I remember him sitting, studying words for the next day's lesson and writing them down. And then the next day we would hear those words in the lesson. So subhanAllah, it's something that we studied from a very young age. Myself and Sheikh Adnan were together in some of these classes as well. So it's something that just comes naturally. So when the opportunity to go to Medina came, it, Alhamdulillah, it was one of those things I knew. We always looked up to our uncle, uh, Sheikh Ismail, uh, Mufti Ismail. We looked up to him. And we looked up to him as not only a scholar of deen, but like, they said, like he said, a fun scholar of deen. It was different to the norm. You know, usually you have a sheikh, a maulana, you sit quietly in front of him, put your head down and listen. And here we could interact, we could speak, we could laugh, we could joke, we enjoyed his lectures, alhamdulillah. So it's something that really inspired me to, you know, further my studies in Medina. That's definitely... Can I, can I add something? Of course you can. He's speaking about my father. My father, mashallah, he has taught all of us, all his children and his grandchildren. And with that, he has established massive institutions. Thousands of people have turned to Islam. Thousands of people have benefited, learned the deen. They've been empowered in terms of dunya as well. So he is a hero to all of us. 
my father, their grandfather. And to this day, he still sits as old as he is. He's about 88. May Allah grant him goodness. He still sits and teaches. He cannot, uh, you know, not do something. He has to be doing something. So anyone who's really interested, he'll sit and teach them Quran and Arabic. Another thing, anyone whom he's taught the Quran to, they are professional Quranic reciters. And really, he is amazing in his teaching. Allah has blessed him, mashallah. Amazing, alhamdulillah. They say, you know, 